Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, um, had a little speech, and in his speech, he accused the United States of America of direct involvement in Ukrainian uh, attack on the nuclear uh, nuclear bases, or better put, the location of the nuclear strategic aircraft that Russia used, if you remember the Engels uh, airfields. Therefore, Putin said, because your direct involvement, we suspend our participation in the New START Treaty, which is it's an uh, arms control or signed treaty between the United States of America and uh, Russia by Medvedev then and Barack Obama, and which says that they will have to limit their uh, nuclear weapons, no tests, things like this, only between the two. And uh, Putin said, well, we cannot do that anymore because uh, we have evidence that you guys, United States of America, you uh, helped the Ukrainians hit our strategic location with the modified drones by your experts. And uh, how could we let your inspectors come and inspect our nuclear uh, areas, military locations, you know, and then you go back and do what? Uh, get another coordinate and you destroy them. He said, we can't do that, we are out. And Putin also argues that uh, the fact that uh, Great Britain and France, also nuclear powers, are not included in the new uh, START treaty. They should be included because they are also involved in uh, collective West's attack towards Russia. Therefore, they are their enemies. We have to figure things out. And Russia said, Putin said, we will suspend our participation. And he said, if the United States starts, starts uh, testing nuclear weapons, we will start. So if they don't, we don't. If they do, we do. So we'll see, uh, obviously, the, uh, the good people, the Western, the Western countries and good people. They said that Putin is an evil guy. Obviously, they decreed he's uh, irrational. Uh, he's just uh, doesn't know what he's talking about and all that. Well, I have here uh, two articles, one from a Russian side and the other one from the um, good people's side. So let's start with a Russian article. This comes from Russia Today from 21st of February 2023. Putin accuses NATO of direct involvement in attacks on Russia. And this artic article here is Russia suspends only remaining major nuclear treaty with, uh, with US. This is Associated Press. So let's start with this. Experts from the US-led bloc helped equip Ukrainian combat drones to strike deep across the border, the president says. And he says here, I want to emphasize the US and NATO are saying outright that their goal is to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia. And after this, they are going to tour our defense sites as if nothing is happening. That means you guys want to blow us up. You want to destroy us, beat us. And then you on the same uh, time, you want to go and tour their, their defense sites as nothing happened. Well, he's not an idiot, obviously. The thing is, when, if you want to solve a problem, an issue, a human issue or a technical issue, let's say you want to repair the glasses. Well, in order to repair the glasses, you have to, to see what the glasses need, not what you like. What do they need? Okay, what is broken? Okay, this is broken right here. Well, I'm not going to say, well, that's not broken because I don't like it. I think uh, um, th this is broken right here. No, this is broken. You have to go and see what the glasses are telling you the problem is. Oh, and you say, well, I ca can I solve it or not? So I'm looking and I say, okay, can I solve this? But this is the issue. I have to listen to the glasses, what they say the issue is. I like it or not. And that's the first step. And then you decide if you are going to repair it or you're going to throw it in the garbage and buy a new pair. Well, here the same in a relationship with another person. If you have a little disagreement, regarding, I don't know, glasses or no glasses, uh, or whatever, where are we going to go this uh, uh, weekend? We're going to go to that location to have fun or the other location? Well, you have to bring, you know, you have to bring arguments and you have to listen to the other side. What is the argument the other side brings on the table? If you don't, 
oh, we're going to do it this way. But who are you to dictate? I mean, are we equal or we're not? No, we're not. So in any, if you want to solve the problem, you have to listen to the other side and the other side has to listen to you. Listen doesn't mean agree with you. Listen to what you say, analyze it, and maybe what you say is better than what I say. Or that could complete my uh, uh, view and we can work it out if we want to work it out. If we don't, then I'm pretending I'm listening to you and then I say no, okay, and vice versa. In this case, this is what the Russians are saying. Now, if you want to listen to them, to what they say and take it into consideration and discuss that issue with them, that means you want to solve it. If you say, no, you're an idiot, I'm not going to talk to you, it, you're just irrational, that means you don't want to talk. Well, that means out. So uh, you make your own mind here, okay? So NATO, uh, NATO helped Ukraine conduct drone attacks on Russian airfields that house long-range, long-distance nuclear-capable bombers. President Vladimir Putin said on Tuesday he made a statement during the annual address to the Federal Assembly, which com comprises both chambers of the country's parliament as well as to senior Russian officials. Now, if the West would like to um, uh, solve the problem, we say, okay, can we talk and maybe you uh, provide us the evidence? But they didn't want to talk about it. They said, no, that's irrational. You're stupid. And I'm quoting what Putin said. We know. Now, we know. How do you know? Bring the evidence, right? But the West doesn't even want to talk about the evidence. That the West was directly involved in the attempts by the Kiev regime to strike the bases that house our strategic aircraft, Putin said. The drones used in the raids were equipped and upgraded with help from NATO experts. It's true that they were upgraded. I don't know if that's uh, with uh, uh, the uh, Western uh, experts, but we know all that. On December 5, UAVs attacked Diaghilevo and Engels military airfields located 500 kilometers, 310 miles, and 700 kilometers, 435 miles from Ukrainian held territory, respectively. These servicemen, three servicemen, were killed and two aircraft received main, minor damage, the Russian Minister of Defense said at the time. A similar drone raid on Engels Air Force Base in Saratov region occurred on December 26, when three people were killed and no planes were damaged, according to the Ministry of Defense. Speaking on Tuesday, Putin said Moscow will temporarily withdraw from 2010 New START treaty with the US, which caps the number of nuclear warheads and the means of delivery and allows for inspections of each other's nuclear arsenal. And again, I want to emphasize, Putin said, the US and NATO are saying outright that their goal is to inflict a strategic defeat in Russia. Remember, they say we're going to win. Uh, Russia not, must not be winning. Must, that means what's the other op option? Losing. And after this, they are going to tour our defense sites as if nothing is happening. The 2010 treaty replaced the first START agreement signed by the US and Soviet Union in 1991. Last month, the US accused Moscow of refusing to facilitate inspection activities. Putin also said that Russia's request for inspections have either been ignored or rejected by the, by the other side. Well, this is what he said, okay? Now, uh, that could be a lie or not. You at least talk to them, right? And these guys say the, the same thing and uh, this, they make the same argument. I mean, they, they say what they basically Putin said in the other article. But uh, obviously, they're going to give a different un understanding of all this. Now, this is how this conversation was taken by the, interpreted by the Secretary of State, which is the Foreign Minister of the United States of America, Anthony Blinken, deplored Putin's move as deeply unfortunate and irresponsible. Noting that, and I'm quoting, we'll be watching carefully to see what Russia actually does. Okay, that's very good. And I strongly encourage Russia to reconsider its decision and respect existing agreements. Well, you are at war with these guys. Uh, what are you talking about? Now, NATO weasel Stoltenberg also voiced regret about Putin's move, saying that, and I'm quoting, with today's decision on New START, full arms control architecture has been dismantled. Well, uh, go get a mirror and maybe you can look at uh, uh, the other side of the coin, okay? But no, we are the good people, you are the bad people, because that's how we determined and that's the way it should be. 
And if you ask questions, you must be either on that side or you're stupid or evil. All right? Being on the other side, you're evil, you're bad, or you're just stupid and run a sense situation. Correct? Correct. Now, um, put yourself, the best way to, to, to figure out, or at least there are two ways to figure out if, you know, a statement is just, it's, it's to put yourself and switch sides. Put yourself in the other side's shoes and see if you were the Russians, okay, what would you have done? You may say, well, I wouldn't have started the war. Okay, but what if your brothers and sisters were killed in East Ukraine by these guys? Would you have done that? What? Oh, I would have tried to talk. Well, they did. Well, then what would you have done? You see, it's, and you have to go back and back, back in time and look at the chronology of events. Because if you just walk on someone beating someone else and the other one is on the floor and the other one is just beating him, it's like, oh my God, the guy who's beating it, he's the bad dude. Maybe, maybe not. not. You have to find out what happened, what triggered that. Maybe the guy who's beating the guy on the floor, on the ground right now, caught that guy killing his children. So I think it's kind of like, uh, you know what I mean? The same here. You have to go and you have to know the chronology. You have to know how it started, what triggered what. This, uh, you know, this is the, the reaction to what. And you find out that some people thought they are better than everybody else and they, don't, they do not need to negotiate with anybody else and they are good. And you are bad. They're, that's it. End of story. Well, when you start from this kind of conversation, when you think you are the boss, and you are always good, what do you want? What, what reaction, uh, what consequences uh, could, could be? Good consequences could be good consequences as long as you still have the power and you have everything in your hand, but it seems like you don't have it in your hand anymore. So then what? And remember, even when you push a rat to a corner, uh, that becomes very dangerous. And Russia is not a rat. Russia has more nuclear weapons than uh, everybody, anybody else on this planet. And it's not an, you know what I mean? So, and Russia has also China. And they're kind of like uh, more than friends. Oh, they are lovers. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.